Hello viewers, welcome to ARC. The topic that I'm going to deal in this video are stain, staining technique and types of staining techniques. Let's start with stain. What is a stain? A stain is a discoloration that can be clearly distinguished from surface, material or medium it is found upon. They are caused by chemical and physical interaction of two dissimilar materials. Staining is used for biochemical research, metal staining and art, for example wood staining and stained glass. Staining is a technique which is used in microscopy to enhance contrast in the microscopic image. There are many types of staining techniques. Some of them are simple staining, negative staining, impregnation staining in which subtype is silver impregnation, differential staining in which there are two types gram staining and acid fast staining and the last one is Elbert stain. So let's start with now simple staining. Methylene blue is used for simple staining. It provides color contrast but there is a drawback as it imparts the same color to all bacteria. Negative staining. Indian ink or negrosine. It is emulsified with a sample or organism to provide a uniformly colored background against which the unstained bacteria stand out in contrast. This is particularly useful in demonstration of bacterial capsules which do not take simple stain. Impregnation. Silver impregnation cells and structures which are too thin to be seen under the ordinary microscope may be rendered visible if they are thickened by silver on their surface. Such methods are used for demonstration of spirochetes and bacterial flagella. Differential staining. These stains impart different color to different bacteria or bacterial structures. The two most widely used differential stain, these are gram stain and acid fast stain. The first one is gram stain. The gram positive cells have more acidic protoplasts which may account for their retaining the basic primary dye more strongly than the gram negative bacteria. The peptidoglycan of gram positive bacteria is thick and thus able to retain the dye iodine complex. The high lipid content of the gram negative bacteria makes them permeable to secondary dye after decolorization with organic solvent like acetone. Decolorization is not an all or none phenomena. In adequate depolarization may cause all cells to appear gram positive. Gram positive bacteria become gram negative when their cell wall gets damaged. Now comes the procedure for gram staining. The primary staining is done with para ross aniline dye such as crystal violet, methyl violet and gentian violet. It is diluted with the solution of iodine. Decolorization is done with organic solvents such as ethanol, acetone and aniline. Counter staining with the dye of contrasting color is used such as saffronin and neutral red. The gram positive differentiate the bacteria into two broad groups, gram positive and gram negative. The gram positive bacteria are those that resist decolorization and retain the primary stain appearing violet. The gram negative bacteria are decolorized by organic solvent and therefore they take the counter stain and appear red. Now comes the application for gram staining. Gram staining is an essential procedure used for identification of bacteria. The gram reactivity is of considerable importance as gram positive and gram negative bacteria differ not only in staining characteristics and in structure but also in several other properties such as growth requirements, susceptibility to antibiotics and pathogenicity. Now comes the second type which is acid fasting. Acid fastness has been ascribed to a high content and variety of lipid, fatty acid and higher alcohols which are found in tubercle bacilli. A lipid peculiar to acid fast bacilli, a high molecular weight hydroxy acid wax containing carboxyl group is the acid fast in free state. Acid fastness is not the property of lipid alone but also depends on the integrity of the cell wall. Now comes the procedure. The smear is stained by a strong solution of carbol fusin with the application of heat. It is then decolorized with 20% sulfuric acid and counter stained with a contrasting dye such as methylene blue. The acid fast bacteria retain the fusin red color while the others take the counter stain. The last one is Elbert stain. On staining with Elbert stain, the granules of Cornebacterium diphtheriae take up the bluish purple color and hence they are also called metachromatic granules. Procedure. The smear is stained with Elbert 1 stain, drained and washed. Elbert 2 is poured to cover the smear and drained. Applications of Elbert stain. Cornebacterium diphtheriae are slender bacilli with an arrangement resembling the letters V or L. They have metachromatic granules at the pole of the bacilli which are also called polar bodies or volutin. If you have any queries about this staining, you can ask in the comments below. And if this video was for any help to you and if you understood staining, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.